Hi everyone, this is Theo from parkablocks.com. Today I'm at my friend Andrew's home. This is Andrew, uh, also known as Drewscape. His website is called drewscape.blogspot.com. Oh. oh, yes. Yes, okay. yeah, correct. So I'm here at his home to look at some of his um, grinded or ground parallel pens. Yeah, let me show you what's the parallel pen first. Okay, here are three parallel pens. These are made by Pilot. So on, and there's this one. What is this? This is a folded. this is a folded wooden pen. So this is handmade, handcrafted, bought online. But these three parallel pens can be bought online at any, I think, major stationery stores. So this one is the modified one. Let me zoom in closer to take a look at the nib. Okay, so this is the modified nib. Now usually this parallel pen, it comes with a rectangular sharp edge nib like this. So if you are going to be buying it from the box, the box looks like this. Yeah, it comes in four sizes. This particular one is 3.8 millimeter. Yeah, so this one provides quite a lot of need for you to grind. This is Andrew's second time <laughs> grinding the pen. So I went out to buy this new parallel pen just to try. It's inexpensive so if it fails then it's not too bad on my wallet. So basically we are trying to achieve. What are we trying to achieve? We're trying. It's a grinding video. We're going to grind your pen. Yeah, we are going to grind it such a way that it can produce strokes like... Alright, on the right right-handed page uh, we have some drawings by Andrew uh, drawn using the parallel pen let me zoom in closer so you can the see the page. stroke the yeah page. so these are drawn with the modified parallel pens you can see that you can have some very thin lines as well as thicker strokes but some of the strokes they have this like splattering rough edge going uh, into it Okay, what, so, what is this thing here? Well, this is a Dremel, it's a rotary tool. A rotary tool. spins thing, so it has a battery pack. And oh. this thing, and you can attach different attachments to the front. Is that sandpaper? So sand, it's, like, it's like sandpaper, but you know. Oh, it's for sanding bit. stuff. Yeah, so this one is the roughest one, so it will make you, it'll, it'll sand it fast, I mean it will grind it down faster. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Something a bit like a drill. Like a drill. Uh. But you can hold it. Okay, okay so uh, the, the unmodified one is like that. And then the. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it um, maybe like this and like this. Maybe this one is longer and this one is shorter. Ooh. Why do you want to cut it like that? So you have. You have. Um, two different angles. Oh. It's, it's, it's actually the curve shape that gives you the line variation. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if, if if it's not so, I mean, if this one you have to, you can tilt more to get more var line variation. This one, I guess, you tilt. You know, the angle is less. Oh, okay. Something like that. Mm, okay. Okay. So the thing is, you have to slowly shape this off. So I'm trying to get off, get the angle. To curve. Mm, to curve, yeah. Oh. oh wait, I have to put on my glasses. <laughs> so when using a rotary tool, you must always protect your eyes. So you have to look a bit silly when you do this. <laughs> okay. You okay. mean you mean the metal will fly up? Yeah. Soon? Yeah. I mean uh? anything can have can fly into your eyes. Oh, and okay. Yeah, I think it's better it's, to be safe than. Well, it's not sorry. worth yeah. losing your eyes for something like this. <laughs> for ten dollar plus. Okay, so if you can see here, if you're new to rotary tools, um, you can control the speed just using this. It's like zero to very fast. Um, this is what I don't know, carpenters or country people who do your house use, but. Um, yeah, so you only need a low speed to grind. So you just... Why are there like no sparks flying out? Because it's metal against not metal. Oh, that's not metal. Yeah. 
I think. <laughs> well, actually, the proper way you can you actually can remove this and, oh. and grind it, but I thought this way is you can. I think it's easier to grind. Like yeah, so that you won't accidentally, so you won't you won't grind it too far in. Yeah. But you have to pre, pre I mean, you have to um, be careful not to grind away the plastic parts. <laughs> well. So you have to be you have to hold it really carefully. <laughs> Yeah, so the bigger stuff that means you have to tilt higher to get yeah. the thin line. So at least you have two options to choose. So it's, you have to use your own pressure, hand pressure, to get the curve mm -hmm. nicely. Get yeah, a very smooth curve. You want to do the other side. Yeah, I'm using speed 2 only. Because for, for pens, you're not doing really house. You're not oh. doing real carpenter work and oh. stuff. You only need two. So can we test the pen now? No. Huh? It's not ready. After that, after that, ready for testing. After that, you need to smoothen it. It's gonna be very rough. Mm. Okay. So then after this, so we got the rough, the shape in place already, right? Mm. So now you have to use the smoother one. Oh, what's the difference between this one and this one? And you can see, and the bumps are, are much more rough. It's like oh. very bumpy, so it, it takes oh. away more metal faster. Yeah, this one is rougher. This one is this smooth, one is, it's called yeah. a diamond cutter. Oh, yeah, correct. That one so, is indeed smoother. So, so you get more fine tuned cutting. Oh, I think we should take it out. Why? Yeah, it's, it's, it helps. This is too close together. Hmm. No, that's the wrong tool. <laughs> Don't you have some flyers? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey. Uh, can't come out. There we go. Oh, that's quite a long nib. Yep. There we go. Be careful not to grind it down until it's like <laughs> a needle. Uh, it's just this part is just to to get the 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 blade curved around, so it's not so scratchy. Oh. Yeah, I realized that your first modified pen is a bit scratchy. Yeah, so this one hopefully is much better than mine. Eh, which side have I done? Oh. <laughs> which side have I done? I think you... What's that thing you're using to look at the... It's just a magnifying glass. It's a jeweler's loop. Uh, bought from Chinatown for $5. Oh. But of course, if you buy online, you can get it for... Anyway, it's cheap. But it's a 30 times and 60 times magnification. Oh. So you can see oh, okay. your work close up. Oh. Uh, look, those used by those jewelry, jewelry shops. Yeah, maybe to cut diamonds and oh, stuff. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. You have to go closer. Like a lot. How about. Mm. No, mm. Like, hey. Just now was okay. Eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Now we can see that the loop is a bit blur. We can see that the edge is a bit smoother. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so is it is the pen ready at this stage? No, it's not. Huh? It's not? It needs to be smoother even more. Oh. But shouldn't you try shouldn't you try to test the pen first? Maybe it's already smooth already. That's a lot. 
when oh. you there's a lot of junk inside right now. Oh, oh I like I like that pilot gives us this thin piece of plastic. It's film. It's like your film, like camera film. Okay, so this is What's that? Your sandpaper. Mm, this is um one one twelve thousand grid micro mesh. So twelve thousand grid grid micro mesh. Yeah. What is it? So this is what you use to smoothen pens. Oh. So if you put the put the nib back in. Looks very small. Yeah. Okay, let's just use the ink from the from the new box. Yeah, okay, so we put it in there. Squeeze it a bit, I guess. I think the cartridge is a bit fragile, you have to... I think I squeezed and cracked the cartridge before. Huh? It's plastic. Yeah, but it's hard plastic. Whoa, 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 I see some ink coming, flying out. Okay, well... Not much coming out. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too sharp. Maybe you need to squeeze the, squeeze the ink more. Or maybe it's not working. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Do you have the pilot convert fifty converter fifty? Yeah. Six, Con fifty. Sixty. Huh? Sixty. Yeah. The fifty is the one with the, with the. The one with the button at the back where you can press it. Yep. Well, yeah, it's right, but it's just very... Um, very dry. Seems mm. to be dry. Well, of course it could be the paper too. So I now have to smoothen it some more. Um, smoothen it like a fountain pen. What's that? Oh, that's water. Okay. Yeah, as a lubricant. Huh? That's the water acts as a lubricant. Oh, okay. And you can has a bit of ink as well. Hmm. And I'm not sure if this is the correct way to do it. Huh? I mean, this is the. I mean, this is not your first time using the. It is, the but I mean, experts can do it better. Like this is just very homemade. Oh, if it's me, I'll be using sandpaper to like... Well, this is like sandpaper, it's just that you need... This is very fine grit sandpaper because you need to be very smooth and sandpaper, if it's not high grit enough, mm. um, your pen will just keep on being ground down every oh, time. Oh yeah, that's true. That's why you just want it to be smooth and... What ink is this? Which one? Are we got any uh, help mixing? This is noodles ink. <laughs> noodles ink. Okay, let's just hope it doesn't noodles cause. Noodles ink is water based, and so I think. Let's hope okay. it doesn't cause a problem by mixing so, it a bit. Uh, noodles ink is water based, so I think it should be okay. I say it's ninety seven percent water based, eh? which is quite weird. Okay. Anyway, you should like be careful when you press the the ink will spill. But this out. is con seventy. Ah, I think seventy. Yeah. It can't fit in a parallel pen. Oh, then don't fit it in. Uh. It's just for testing purposes. Maybe you press, but the ink will spill out. Eh? Yeah. Let's press it like a bit to let the ink. Ah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Does it work? Apparently not. Maybe we have failed. Maybe we need that indentation. <laughs> oh, are you telling me that we shot 20 minutes of video and the pen grinders feel? Could be. I say, so, grinding pens, if you're amateur, is a trial and error <laughs> process. I must put a disclaimer before. Right. You, don't anyhow, you can't anyhow You can anyhow spoil your pens I With a disclaimer. Tremor. I must put a disclaimer first before the readers watch this video To realise that they have wasted 30 minutes to watch an this is, unsuccessful uh, grinding This is what you should not do Hey, not bad, hey, there's ink coming out 
Yeah, but that's because we squeezed a lot of ink out. Oh. Just do a lot of okay, see that we can Just do a lot of hatching lines to use up the ink and see if it flows. But this this part when it comes to this part it's not flowing so well. I mean, the side with the sideways. Yeah. It seems that the ink is flowing already. Yeah. Is it because just now we press it could a be. lot of ink? Oh this part is quite thick. I uh, you have to go slower though, because the the channel is so. Yeah, I think for for nibs that put out so much ink, it is. I think it's quite. I mean, obvious to go a bit slower. Well, yeah, this and uh, this one doesn't have so much ink coming out from this angle. This one has more ink. This one doesn't have. So I don't know. What but that that's is. good, right? But because you have one option to choose when you want to have less ink at least you can use the one side and if you want more ink you can use the other side oh yeah, you're supposed to make one more splattery right? no, I, I don't want my, mine to be splattery oh you can see it's not splattery because oh, yeah, I, 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 I smoothened it yeah, the splattery one is a bit how should I say, you can get a bit distracting when your whole page is full of splattery lines okay so I uh, also have to transfer this back to the to the to the, the other the other cartridge. Is it a con sixty? This is a con. Is it is con seventy or con fifty. I think it's con seventy. Con seventy. Yeah. Oh, I mean you don't have you don't have any other ink. You don't have an ink bottle. Uh, I do. And why but you, you can't use? you can't use this one. But you have to use you can. But this these cartridges are good. Why um, why are they good? They are the same, they are the same, the correct shape. Oh yeah, the correct shape. Yeah. yeah. I mean you want to put the pen body back. And you can use more like like Sumi ink. If you use Sumi ink you want. Sumi ink is those grind from those ink stick one, right? But they are very Yeah. So they are, they are more they might stick to your thick so you wanna if you for like more yeah. dangerous inks you want to use yeah, the more, you want to use these plastic it's things. Like, Sumi ink is more prone to clog Blogging. You should do a lot of hatch hatching line to use up the ink just to see whether they are not the ink Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's a bit thick, dry now. Very thick, the uh, thick side hatching lines. Like that? Yeah. Okay, uh, yes. it looks alright. Or the, 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 the thin parts. Huh? The thin parts. The thin parts. I think it's not... The thin parts is... Maybe you should not draw so fast with the... With the... Thing. You mean that both sides, the thin part, is... are dry? No, one side is more dry. Oh. So, sometimes some bits when got in between, maybe. It will be interesting if this works. If not, then oh, maybe I have to throw this pen into the rubbish bin. No, no. I think it just needs some modification, what? and it should work. Or it just needs oh, to be fine tuned. Maybe, maybe I'll just keep this pen as a spare pen so that I can use the spare parts. I said another way to to increase the flow is you just make the make the, the plates wider, oh, so you can force it wide yourself, or you can you can kind of hit that in then in on one side oh. to widen it. But as you can see, it's quite dry for the. It's a bit too dry. Yeah, it's a bit too dry. So I think that's the downside to it. So the. So this side is okay, is it? No, when you go when you go to the wet side, it's fine. Oh. But if you go to the thin side, it's not fine. Yeah. So that's what we need to do. Let's see whether we can just widen it ourselves. Oh. Let's not spoil it. Uh oh. Not widen it too much. Oops. Shucks. Am I? 
This one, okay? this one looks okay. This one looks okay, but it just is it a bit, a bit rough? Yeah, it's just a bit rough. Ooh. But it may be okay. Oh, yeah, it's a bit rough. I'm not very sure this is the correct way to. We are trying to press the. Basically, trying to press the nibs together. Which is hard to press because how do you press two plates together? Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have made them apart in the first place. So, there's one piece like that. It's like a tweezer. Oh, tweezer, okay. So, yeah. You can oh. put them apart. What time is it now? Don't know. How much time did we take to read this monster monster <laughs> pen? Mm, don't you want to like hammer it on some newspaper instead of on a sketchbook? It's okay. My sketchbook is okay. It's okay. Some thick edge. <laughs> the thick edge, just like that. Oh my slower, slowly. slower, just like that. There, this one is smoother. Um, okay, one is the this one edge. One, yeah, I think it's okay. I guess if you press harder, it's there. there you yeah, go. If you press harder, you get a very rough edge. Smoother, just like that. Uh, smoother is, oh, okay. Looks okay, looks fine. Let me see. Oops. Okay, turn it. Oh, wow, it's quite white. That's because it's. Wow, it's like a tweezer. Yeah, so that's yeah. causing the splatter. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, a bit scratchy. Oh, maybe yeah, not. Oh. Put something in between. If you put something in between the thing that uses the fire to press it, then then it'll go in. Might work. Who's this guy? Shit. That's a CB. I'm trying to catch him. Okay, so <laughs> we managed to fix the pen by by putting something in the middle. Yeah, so if the thing splits open wide, if you accidentally split it wide, yeah, like this. Uh, you put something in the middle, then you press it in using a plier or something, but, okay. but carefully. Yeah. So you press it, and then you take out the metal thing, and it should go oh, back. What do you use here? I just use a, I don't know, metal object like this. Oh, just, just, oh, just any metal thin. object. Just something thin. Oh, okay, now, oh, now the lines are like, I mean... I mean, yeah. now the lines are much smoother. Depends on your angle. Yeah. The higher angle should be thin. Yeah. Okay. Look, yeah, you can get some thick, thick can, things. Can you make it very thick? So so this is the. the you can this get. is the. I think this is. Is this? Yeah. This. I think this is the thickest I can get. I see. Hmm. Let's see if we can do some variation. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay I guess that's all for today. I will... So is this a successful grind? Hmm. <laughs> well, it's a successful yeah, you, if see, you are satisfied with yeah, what you make at home. Yeah, I think I think it's quite okay, quite usable. At least the pen, the ink is still coming out, so yeah. I guess it's successful in that sense. And it's not too rough. I mean, there's no. 
So more splash, the wider the, yeah. the wider the gap, the more splatter you have. Yeah, uh, let me try it on my sketchbook. Yeah. Okay, so this one was drawn drawn with fail pen, which is not bad. Which is kind of which is quite okay, I guess. They have complementary splatter marks with this yeah. modification. Yeah, you see. Because splatter. you're going fast. Oh. Go slow, the splatter should be there. Some Ralph Stepman uh, style going on. Interesting that um, the splatter mark gives some, provides some variation. Yeah. You don't have to force yourself to add splatters. It happens yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's the good part. You don't have to force yourself to add splatter. Yeah. See whether you can get like very thin to thick slowly. Uh, no, no, with lines. Huh? With just yeah. lines. Yes. No, straight lines. Straight lines like this. Thin to thick. Well, how do you get thin to thick? How do I get thin to thick? <laughs> no, that's not how you get thin to thick. Oh. It's like the hero fan. So thin is like that. Then you just go lower. Put it lower, you get thicker lines as you go lower. Oh, okay. Uh, so this, this is one angle. Go lower, lower angle has thicker lines. Oh, okay. There you go. Actually, so in the end, it turned out quite alright. <laughs> oh, okay. So, in a way, you use it like a hero hand. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Hi, so after about two hours of hard work on this uh, $10 pen, so uh, we managed to get it to work about, I don't know, about, I think it's satisfactory, I guess, for $10. <laughs> two hours of work, it's homemade stuff. Well, okay, so yeah, let's take, a, let's take a look need. at the tools that I use uh, for the production of this pen, this monster pen. Yeah, so you need a Dremel. A Dremel. It's a Dremel 8000. Oh. There are different models. I guess you can buy it online. Yeah, or a hardware store. Oh, okay. Then you just need a tweezer, and then you want to put the masking tape around if you don't want to damage the nib. Oh, yeah. And this is Micro Mesh. So micro Mesh. 12,000 grit. Mm, okay. So it's like very fine sandpaper, but it's not. Mm. And it's a loop that can go 30 times or 60 times. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's so that's all. It. Okay. It's good. Oops, that's the... <laughs> no, you didn't record it. No, I did. I did record it. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Until next time. <laughs> when we modify some other cheap pens. Yeah, hopefully you don't ruin yeah. it. But remember yeah. to always go to a proper nib expert if you want to modify your pens properly. Yeah. And if you want to modify your pen, uh, do not spend more than twenty dollars on it. Yes, unless you know what you're doing. Uh, okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye.